Okay, now that you have Active Directory created and you have your domain, it's time to start creating some organizational units to organize your um, domain. So I'm going to go to Start, Administrative Tools, Users and Computers, and it's going to open up my Active Directory Users and Computers window, and you can see here that there is um, dansgames.com. I've named my uh, this Active Directory uh, uh, domain name, I've named dansgames.com. And in here, you can see these are um, the default uh, folders, the built-in folders, and then also the OUs. And you can see here that there's different ones. I just created one called Linux for my Linux students. And you can see it has a little symbol there that I think indicates that it's an, it's an OU. So I could make a new one by just right-clicking on dansgames.com on the domain and going new organizational unit and I could make one for my server classes so I could say server and click OK right so now I have one called you notice I can open this here and you'll see it in there server Linux and then let's say I wanted to go inside of Linux I could say go inside of Linux and I could say new organizational unit right and I could say Ubuntu. So for if the class is a Linux Ubuntu class, then I could do that. And I'll do another one. New organizational unit Fedora, right? And click that. Now I've got an Ubuntu uh, OU inside of a Linux and a Fedora OU inside of a Linux. Now for my server class, I could click on the server class and I could right click and say new OU server 2008 or I could say win 2008 let's see if it take that number there win 2008 OU and click um, OK and it took it win 2008 so there's a um, sub OU within server called Windows 2008 right then I have other classes that I teach, so I could right-click on dancegames.com and hit New, and I could say, let's see here, uh, New, uh, where's my organizational unit, and say Security for security classes. So click OK, right? And then within that, I could make another OU and so on and so forth. Okay, so I'm still organizing my Active Directory structure within uh, dansgames.com. This is my domain controller. This is my Windows Server 2008 for my, uh, for my network, let's say. And what I'm going to do is under Server, I'm going to make, um, so I have Server class here, and I'm going to make another one called New Organizational Unit, and I'll call it win 7. And also notice this, the protect container from accidental deletion. This is nice uh, so it doesn't accidentally get deleted. And it's a new feature in Windows Server 2008. Click OK. Now I've got this win 7. Um, uh, I have this win 7 OU within the server OU underneath my dancegames.com domain controller. Okay, so now under Windows 7, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create a couple of areas under Windows 7 as well. So under Windows 7, I'll say new uh, OU, and I will call it users. And then under Windows 7, I will say new OU make another one called computers. And so what I can do is, is under my Windows 7 class, which is underneath my server class, as a whole all my server classes and Windows classes, I have a Windows 7 class and I'll have users, I can put my users in there and I'll put my computers in there. And then I'll be able to control specifically the types of access that these users have and also the computers I can control the special types of access that those computers have using um, group policies.
and so on and so forth. And we'll add those in the next uh, video.